This is Mrs. Bona Kaley Mbombo, who lives in the KwaZulu Natal province of South Africa. She lives in a community called Mapapateni, where elderly grandmothers, known as Ngokos in Zulu, come together to cultivate their gardens for use in subsistence farming. Sadly, these Ngokos struggle daily to feed themselves. Drought conditions during the winter months threaten the development and productivity of the gardens. Worse still, the rural regions of KwaZulu-Natal are among the most vulnerable and impoverished in South Africa, with some of the highest incidences of HIV and tuberculosis in Africa itself. This is further exacerbated by economic and social degradation from decades of injustice due to apartheid. As a result, these Gogos are tasked with looking after not only their own livelihoods, but also those of the thousands of children who have been orphaned because of AIDS. Mrs. Mbombo, for example, has adopted an HIV-positive 22-year-old man as her son. She found him lying on the side of the road, unable to move, and took him into her home. She gives her own meager food portions to him instead of eating them herself. Many of these community gardens have no sustainable and efficient way of practicing subsistence agriculture. Current methods of irrigation require gogos and younger children to spend up to five hours a day transporting 25 kilograms of water just to irrigate half of a hectare of their garden. This burden not only diverts the caregivers from meaningful tasks such as caring for the orphaned children, but also forces the children to miss valuable schooling. In addition, manual irrigation of their gardens highly limits both the use of surrounding arable land and crop yield. Since 2006, the Johns Hopkins chapter of Engineers Without Borders has been working with David Alcock, the creator of an innovative ram pump irrigation system, in order to improve the livelihoods and local health of the inhabitants of rural KwaZulu-Natal. The Alcock ram pump is innovative because it requires no manual labor and relies purely on hydraulic energy to pump water to an elevation of 10 meters for every meter of supply head. While larger, more efficient ram pumps do exist, they are associated with high maintenance costs such as gasoline and electricity costs and often run the risk of theft and vandalism. The Alcock pump is very inexpensive as it is made from locally available and recyclable materials and is easy to maintain as it only consists of two movable parts. As such, the pump not only deters theft and vandalism, but its technical capabilities are comparable to those of electrically and gasoline-powered pumps in terms of attainable delivery heights and flow rate. Thus far, the students of EWB have traveled to South Africa and implemented 11 ram pumps in 7 communities. Our most successful garden has been able to increase its garden to twice of the original size. <laughs> The team's current process of installing pumps in individual communities, while beneficial, is time-consuming and cost-ineffective. Although the ram pump is easy to build, many of the rural communities are located in areas where they lack basic infrastructure, such as paved roads and water supply, and thus cannot obtain the materials needed to build an irrigation system. Our team hopes to develop a technology and development center at the Zake Agricultural College, a vocational school where we could consolidate resources for cost efficiency and also provide hands-on education for the students in agricultural practices using the ram pump. Furthermore, the center would allow for mass production of the ram pump decreasing the cost of production to less than $100 per pump. The center will help to widely distribute the ramp pump technology to hundreds of communities across KwaZulu-Natal, helping them to gain access to irrigation water, which will increase garden output, crop diversity, and access to sufficient nutrient-rich foods. With a basis in KwaZulu-Natal, the Technology and Development Center will empower sustainable and local manufacturing of the ramp pump by the community members in order to promote health and prosperity.